right what's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video comparison so i love spider-man i don't know if you can tell from this videos but uh i do uh i got the amazing spider-man 2 i did sell amazing spider one man back you know maybe two years ago or so i got the tech suit spidey which is i'm about to trade um and i'll tell you why which is but i do love this spider-man as you can see and i got the uh, homemade spider-man here and the latest one was is right here the uh, iron spider from the movie infinity war so which one is the best spider-man so far and now i'll just show you you know i've had so many comparisons now but i i just love doing this i just love helping you guys if you are kind of new to collecting and you want to pick up a spider-man the readily available is this guy you can still pre-order this or, or order this at big bad toy store i'll put the link down below now these three guys are mostly sold out now and spider-man 2 you know you can get them but most of them these three guys you can get them only on ebay and their their price is pretty inflated outside of this guy so i'll tell you what would be the best case scenario for you if you're just starting let's say you don't have any of these guys if you do then good for you but for me i'm about to lose this guy yeah maybe tomorrow or so but we'll see all right okay, so if we're talking about accessories so bang for the buck this guy has all these accessories so you got a what do you call this i don't the scarf got this vest it's pretty nice reminds me of the marty mcfly vest a backpack a bullhorn and a bunch of hands magnetic hands which is the best hands honestly out of all of these guys i don't know why they didn't do it again now if we go to because they're pretty similar the tech suit and the amazing spider-man too a similar i mean in they're both spider-man not compared to the homemade version and iron spider which is more of a specialty uh or you know kind of side costume with between the two you can pick and choose you know which one you want uh but you get more value especially when the price that it came out with originally now the price of it now is a bit inflated obviously because it's sold out you get this beautiful portrait of tom holland as you can see but it's looking kind of like on the right but nice portrait um you got a backpack as well it's quite nice uh a book science today a bunch of eyes because you can actually swap out the eyes an empty mask it has its own tray too and then that wings i mean that's that's beautiful right there compared to and and ironically when it first came out this guy which is the the tech suit spidey is only five dollars more than the homemade version so it's a no-brainer i mean they both have the same stand practically uh but the homemade version it's not too shabby it comes with this weird looking head sculpt uh also an empty mask which is has holes in it a bunch of hands and also some spare ice but um that's practically it you know compared to this guy who has a book a backpack uh headphones and this wings right here for and he has an extra gauntlet as well i don't know what it's this for but that's something extra but yeah compared to what you would get i mean that's that's a pretty good deal if you ask me and then let's go to iron spider which is you this is you're gonna get three head sculpt basically so you get this nice portrait again of tom holland but this one this time is he's looking straight um another swappable head um this one you can swap out the eyes you can see this is a bit this is shinier not a bit but actually shinier than the uh, regular Let me just show it to you right here tech suit i don't know if you can pretty much the same size but shinier different material obviously uh a bunch of hands some eyes he also has this empty mask which is i have no idea why it comes with it it's a it's a nano suit if i'm not mistaken or modular or whatever but he also comes with this nice tentacles so and the base is a bit different although i did change the bottom part because i don't want that clasping on his uh, waist but um yeah overall if you ask me he does have the i would say 
because of the extra head sculpt, I always give that because he has a light up head sculpt here. So I always give it a plus. But then again, he's a bit more expensive. But the tentacles are those. Yeah, they're really nice. So overall value with the price we're talking about now, he has the, the best value because he's for 260 you get all of these and for 260 compared to him. Now, if we're talking about the initial release, then he would get the best value. But right now, yeah, this guy's around $400 now. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to spend that much. Okay, so as far as the head sculpt, I actually like the Amazing Spider-Man 1. I don't know. There's something about it that I just, it just draw to me. It's it's like old school, big eyes, classic Spider-Man. Now, the color is not as vibrant as the Amazing Spider-Man. I put them side by side because like I mentioned earlier, I feel like they're the two closest to the comic book version slash you know spider-man that you want to own because either one i if i had a choice i would prefer this guy because i he's just newer uh the suit is not as elastic as this one meaning they're not as stretchable this guy kind of heals their fabric there's some reports that if you bend this guy for a while it actually does not heal itself the fabric that they used however on this guy it does not come you know did i don't know if you can see it right there it, one of the uh mine is not too bad so what this is is the uh the glue that they used and over time this guy is what like four years old maybe three years old that it kind of darkens and it create that black spot which not too bad on mine but i know for some it is a big deal but i don't know i just like his look better this wide eye spider-man uh, it's just me you know i mean you can say whatever you want about the movie but we're talking about just the overall suit appear appearance here and uh, it's not a bad design because as you can see here on his wrist it does not have any seam that's what i kind of like about this figure as well they use the magnet on the hands so it's kind of seamless going down now this guy is I don't know. One thing that I, I I hated about this before was the eyes. It's kind of hard to switch out the eyes. But there's a certain technique. You just push one side and you kind of, you know. And then once you get a hang of it, it's it's pretty easy. However, um, now it's expensive though. That's the biggest complaint I have with this guy now. I mean, not that I, I'm complaining because I have this. But if for, the, for the new guys who's trying to buy this, uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm willing to shell out $400 for him. If you can get him maybe for... 320 or maybe 300 at most maybe because i wish this was removable because in the movie it was and uh but he looks nice actually he looks nicer he looks like such a newer figure than the amazing spider-man 2 but there's just something about this look that i actually do like and uh but overall you know this was has a better value when it first came out everything is better now this two guys right here is a bit of uh, an enigma because he, he does not look good he does not but i feel i have a feeling that this spider-man that we have now is gonna take off if he hasn't already taken off uh and this would be rare because this is the origins of spider-man and right now it's also retailing for 400 dollars. so you know it's an expensive figure and I feel like those who missed out on this one would kick themselves because of, you know, you always, if you want to complete the Spider-Man collection, you, you need to have the origins, you know, where it all began. And, um, as, and this is the most posable out of these four guys because he's using a fabric, just a cotton. So there's no fear of tearing up the clothing or, you know, leaving marks or anything like that. So you can go crazy with him and, and be completely you know stress-free compared to iron spider which you can't even pose without worrying that you are going to crease the suit this is more of a static pose this is more of a badass spider-man you know with those tentacles i put one up because i was just you know trying to showcase his face now he does have a light up eye but it's um pretty similar to uh the tech suit spider-man like the overall look you can switch out the eyes you got a light up one you got a, a regular face but yeah all of them comes with the uh well at least these three guys he does not come with the andrew garfield health scalp you you get that from the amazing spider-man one um but all of them looks pretty pretty good when it comes to the portrait of uh tom holland 
All right, so you can see all the uh, Tom Holland head sculpt right here. So this is the home home suit version. He does come with a neck, and if you can see, he has battle damages on his forehead, and it's looking straight. This is, I can tell from the bottom, this is the Iron Spider. He's still looking straight, but no battle damage and no peg. This is actually magnet. So it's not like if you missed out on that you can use this on the other spot. You can't because it's just a different method of in inserting the head. And this is the tech suit version, which is looking more so on the left. And this one just pegs in, no magnet whatsoever, but it still looks pretty good. So you can't kind of, well, I guess this one you can mix, you know, mix and match with the other Spider-Man. But yeah, it looks pretty, pretty good. All of them. All right, so there you go, guys. This is just kind of like the buying guide for Spider-Man if you are new to collecting hot toys. Um, if I have to recommend something, I would say go for the Iron Spider first, just because it's readily available. And I, you might just have a one shot with this one. You know, it's Infinity War. He might not use the suit again. And it's honestly, it's a pretty cool suit. Uh, it does light up. It, limited posing, but I would say this is the second cheapest and, you know, get the more value for your money out of this this spider-man now if you're on a budget you can probably get this guy for cheap maybe for around 200 220 dollars in ebay maybe even less i don't know but the risk you're having here is the stains on the top so if you are buying one just make sure you ask for pictures especially in the top part right here but this is possible compared to the other spider-man uh without worrying anything and also maybe twice as cheap uh who knows just watch out on the crease on the knees and but from what i heard i don't post my figures you know it's obscenely but from what i heard for the guys who does you know watch out for the stitches and all that stuff now if you really want to go big then get him this is like 400 dollars. however i don't really recommend that why because as much as i love this guy and i think he's the best out of the bunch he's more expensive and we have another spider-man coming up soon uh far from home and they look the same, probably a little bit muted colors, uh, from at least from the screenshots that I've seen. And trust me, Hot Toys is going to make that. So when they do, it's either going to be better or maybe the fabric is going to the engineering is a little bit better. Maybe the fabric that they're going to use is, you know, doesn't crease as much. Maybe you won't get as much accessories or maybe it'll be ex more expensive. But would it be $400? You know, this is $234. Let's say that... The one that comes out is 250 It's still a lot cheaper when you buy this on eBay right now. So um, if you really want to, you know, if you have an extra 400 and you really want to spend it on a Spider-Man, I would say get him, you know, the, the homemade suit version, because I think you would have one shot with this. And I think that shot has passed um, and it, you, you might not be satisfied right now. But if you're a completionist, um, you would like it because even if this one I, and I'm, I'm trying to trade the uh, tech suit version even if i trade this and if i get you know the uh, far from home figure which is pretty close then um you know I, I don't think i'll miss it that much to be quite honest with you i think i'll move on with my life and uh you know be happy with my new spider-man so there you go guys so i hope this one helps you out if you are on the market for a new spider-man and uh again if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel it really helps me out click that bell notification so every time i upload a new video you see it and follow me on instagram i upload new pictures maybe like twice or three times a week follow me on facebook and um, i'll see you guys in the next review